Hey guys, Ramsey with Spraywell. Today we're making a video over how to make a pressure gauge for your pressure washer. There's a few items you're going to need. The first is thread tape, a T fitting, a male MPT plug and female quick connect, the Comet pressure gauge, and a 1 4th to 3 8 reducer. The first thing you want to do is screw in this 1 4th to 3 8 maximizer slash reducer into the top side of this T fitting. This is in order as the Comet pressure gauge is a 1 4th fitting size. And in order to fit into this T fitting, you will need that reducer. All right, now since we've got that tightened down, now you want to put in the female quick connect. What side do you want to put these on doesn't really matter. T fitting works either way. There's no end to out or preferred method. It just depends on what you have at your pressure washer and at your hose connection. Now that is tightened, we're going to put in the male plug on the other end of this T fitting. You want to screw these in. And as you can see in this video, I have pre thread taped all of these fittings in order to make this video quite seamless. All right, now that you have both of the fittings on either end, you're going to want to screw in this pressure gauge. I'm going to make sure it is screwed down tight as well as though be a little careful with it as you don't want it to damage the gauge. Now that that is installed, you have a fully assembled pressure gauge. If you have any questions, please let us know. And thank you for watching.